Introducing first, fighting out of the white corner. This woman hails from New Zealand, works in sales and commercial, and stands at 165 centimetres, weighing in at 94 kilograms. At 35 years of age, ladies and gentlemen, May Pure Mayhem Afoa Peterson! Well, 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 here we go. Bout number nine of the night. May Afoa Peterson in the white, making her way to the ring. The young Kiwi, 35 years young, 165 centimetres, 94 kilos. She works sales and commercial. The reason for joining was to empower and encourage that it's okay to go out of your comfort zone. It's okay if it doesn't go your way. Then just get up, dust yourself off, and have another go. Toughest part of the training was the running. Her message to her opponent, regardless, we are both winners for stepping into the ring. Also hails from New Zealand, working for Lynn Fox. At 33 years of age, standing at 160 centimetres tall, Desiree, the destroyer, Sasulu. Desiree Sasulu makes her way to the ring. A young Kiwi, 33 years young, 160 centimetres and 130 kilos. Plenty of swagger about her tonight. The reason for getting involved in Corporate Fighter was to shed light on mental health awareness and its effects on everyday people. Have a look at Desiree. She is loving the spotlight. And so she should. Wonderful competitor, had a quick chat to her backstage. She said she's nervous, but she's ready to fight. A superstar, as they all are here. 26 Australians tonight doing their thing, challenging themselves and raising money for Beyond Blue here for Corporate Fighter, fight night number 48. Her message to her opponent, good luck, all the best. I expect nothing short of a beating. Cheers to a great cause. Desiree Sasulu in the black. May Afoa Peterson in the white. Bout number nine. Two years age difference. Five centimetres difference. And 36, di 36 kilos in weight difference between the two. Ninth bout, 13 fights on this card tonight. And it was fantastic to spend a bit of one-on-one -on -one time with Luke Action Jackson. And have a look at that young fella. My goodness, that is a haircut. Now there's a haircut you can set your watch to. For the Simpsons fans watching tonight, you'll get that reference. Can we get both fighters to the center of the ring? Okay, ladies, most important, defend yourself at all times. Listen to my commands. When I say stop, stop. When I say break, that means to break. Step back, don't punch on the break. Okay, touch gloves. Good luck to you both. Bound number nine, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. So Peterson in the white. Sasulu in the black. Underway for bout number nine. Here at Corporate Fighter, fight night. And what a start. Peterson. Wooshka! Sasulu now. Trying to defend herself as Peterson just launches the lefts and the rights. Nice little quick jab there from Sasulu. Now starting to come back. Peterson galloping towards her. As now Sasulu just tries to stop the flurry of punches. Early stanza of this ninth bout, first round. 
Sasulu now just trying to stop the punches from Peterson. Both girls really putting on a contest. 36 kilos of difference. Five centimetres in height. And two years age difference. These two girls really putting on a show at the moment. And it's only the first round. Crowd eagerly watching this fight unfold here at the start. Nice work from Sasulu. Great shot there from Peterson. Referee keeping a close eye. We have the best in the business, along with all the trainers over the 12-week period, including Luke Action Jackson, who you saw just a moment ago on the coverage as now Peterson starts launching again with those little left and right combinations. Now going up with a pair of uppercuts and Sasulu now. Desiree Sasulu. What about the left and the right? That was impressive. Great body work in the corner from Peterson. These two Kiwis putting on a great bout. Fourth female fight of the night. Referee just separating them. The Sasulu now sets herself up for the next assault. Peterson on the ready. Sasulu just cools things down a little bit. Peterson and Sasulu. Oh, there was a late shot there in the final round and the referees had a chat to her there. But it shows you the energy just bubbling over. And obviously the little bit of inexperience from both fighters. Growth built, building Sydney stronger. Growthbuilt.com.au. Great company and wonderful to have them as a sponsor tonight. Now at Lendy, they are your home for home loans. We'll find you a knockout home loan deal. You can compare home loan rates from 35 lenders. Access unlimited expert support. Search Lendi, L-E-N-D-I, and get your home loan approved faster. Had a chat with one of the growth-built employees, the G-Train, Glenn Mott. 14 years of difference between him and Thwaitsy, Andrew Thwaites. That is bout number 12 of the night. Had a chat to both fighters. Thwaitsy looked... Ready to go, and Motti was in the right mind frame. He's 50 years young, so I'm really looking forward to that fight a little bit later on in the card. But here we go, round number two, bout number nine between May Afoa Peterson and Desiree Sasulu. Sasulu in the black and Peterson in the white. Getting things started is Sasulu now, and Peterson working the body as now she swings the lefts and rights. The body section work nice. Quick little left and right, short, sharp jabs. Referee just keeping them apart. Once the punch is a little bit higher, the referee just indicating with that little hand gesture. Hope you people at home are enjoying the action of this corporate fighter fight night number 48. This is the ninth bout of the night. May Afoa Peterson in the white. Desiree Sasulu in the black. It's a Sulu now. He's under some real pressure from Peterson. And now Peterson just starting to throw the lefts and rights. Needs to get the punches a little bit higher. So Sulu just ducking down. Referee breaks them up midway through this second round. Pretty flash looking pinkish boots from Sasulu. Saw her sparring earlier tonight backstage whilst we were conducting interviews, getting in the final bits of training. Sasulu now just swings the lefts and rights. Jeez, that was impressive. That right was devastating to Peterson and rattled her a little bit. Oh, quick little jab from Sasulu. And that's the second round done. Now, we are raising money for Beyond Blue tonight. They are an independent, non-for-profit organisation working to reduce the impact of anxiety, depression and suicide in Australia. Beyond Blue's vision is that everyone in Australia achieves their best possible mental health. The Beyond Blue support service programs and initiatives support people at all stages of life, wherever they live, work, study or play. Beyondblue.org.au is the website that you need and we're raising money for them tonight and of course, Jason, our very talented and experienced auctioneer, raised a lot of money, as you would have seen earlier in the broadcast. $7,000, I think it was, for the last item on the card. 
Big question is, what will you fight for? They're recruiting right now, Corporate Fighter. Starts Feb 4, 596.25, the price for 12 weeks training plus your kit bag. Fight ready, 25, the code you need. Sign up today, corporatefighter.com.au. Peterson and Sasulu. Here we go. Peterson and Sasulu just launching into each other. Peterson working the body, Sasulu trying to fire back. 36 kilos of difference between these two, but my goodness, these two are just putting on a huge fight at the moment. Just two years separates them and five centimetres in difference in height. So Sulu now with a wild punch there. And now Peterson starting to come back. Both girls putting on a really entertaining bout. Final round of this one. What about it's been the ninth of the night. Of course, next up it's Abbas and Donnelly. As now Peterson launches the bout and the punches. 60 seconds of the final round. What have these girls got left in the tank? Peterson and Sasulu now coming. Peterson uppercuts. Sasulu goes high. Peterson goes low. Final moments. 12 weeks of training. Have they got anything left in the tank? Peterson and Sasulu. Last throw. There's Sasulu with a nice right. There's the bell. There's three rounds. Terrific fight between these two girls. Desiree Sasulu, the destroyer in the black. And May Afoa Peterson, pure mayhem in the white. That is the ninth bout of the evening. We'll head down to our MC, Paddy Lang. He will tell you who has won this ninth bout. Is it Peterson or Sasulu? We'll find out. Ladies and gentlemen, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we have both fighters in the center of the ring. We have a split decision to the black corner, the destroyer, Desiree Sasulu. <laughs> 